Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about the debut record from Northdale, Welcome to Paradise, out August 2nd on Nuclear Blast. The album has 13 tracks and is 53 minutes in length. For those of you at home that don't know, this is a Swedish-American power metal supergroup made up of Bill Hudson, Christian Eriksson, Mikael Plenfett, Patrick Johansson, and Jimmy Pitts. The overall sound of this record is very modern. It has a modern power metal sound to it. Having said that, you feel like there are some fragrances or some leftovers from the 90s and I would go as far as late 80s. Bands like Hammerfall, Halloween, even bands that are not necessarily power metal bands like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest and even Scorpions, you really feel like some of these bands were huge influences on their sound. So they were able to take those influences but create music that is modern and not necessarily dated. Overall, the structure of the record is really is really cool. It took me a little bit of time to really wrap my head around it and really understand what was going on. Once I did, I really loved the dynamic that this album had. The album starts off with Welcome to Paradise, which really feels like an introductory track. So it feels like the introduction to the whole album. Then it breaks at the midway point with uh, Way of the Light, which is uh, a ballad, a power metal ballad, and I really like that ballad in the middle of the album because it really breaks the speed and the momentum that the record has. Gives the listener a chance to relax, a chance to, to catch his breath, and this is a power metal ballad that has a little bit of a scorpion structure and vibe to it, and I really like that because they were really able to pull it off and create a song that's very beautiful and still very dynamic. Then the onslaught continues, really fast tempo songs, really great power metal songs, and then the album finishes off with another ballad, Even When. This is where they threw me off. First time listening to the record, I really didn't get why the record would finish off with a ballad. It just really didn't seem like perhaps the best place to put a ballad at the end of the record. And this ballad is much different from the first one. Even When is more of an acoustic ballad with some symphonic elements in it. So in, at first glance, I was like, what is this song doing here? It just doesn't make too much sense. The more I listened to the album, the more it made sense. It really wrapped the album together. If you think about it, you have Welcome to Paradise as the opening track, which is also the name of the album, which really works as the intro track. It really gives you an idea of what you're going to get lyrically and musically from the rest of the album. Then you have Way of the Light, the first ballad, and the midway point as a way to break the record, give the listeners a chance to catch their breath. Then you get another ballad at the end of the record that to me now really works out as an outro. It really works out as a song that tells the listener, we will see you later. There will be more down the line. There's another album coming in the future. So it really works more as an outro. And the fact that it's a ballad adds to that sense of closure. So, and, and the fact that it has symphonic elements even more. So I really like the structure of the record now. Like I said, it took me a little bit to get used to it. Once I grasped it and I understood it, then the whole album as a whole just sounded a lot better, just felt a lot more concise, more, more well put together, if you will. Overall, this album is a very good power metal album. They created really cool songs that have all the attributes that you look in a power metal track. You know, great tempos, fast riffs, killer solos, some over the top, some more melodic, uh, some more intricate. Uh, it, there's a little bit of everything for everybody as far as guitar work is concerned, as far as riffs and solos are concerned. They include a little bit uh, of, of symphonic elements here and there, not a lot, but they just enough to give the songs a different feel, a different vibe, a different melody, if you will. Then you have great drum work throughout the record, incredible, incredible vocals. And one of the most important aspects for me as far as power metal is concerned is the choruses of the song. And this album has really hooky, catchy choruses at every single track, every single turn. So overall, they really grabbed all the components that are necessary to make a modern day power metal album work. And they did it and they made it work. Overall, I would say this is an, a very, very strong debut by North Tail. This is really an album that will uh, will gather a lot of attention from fans and perhaps will lead them to a, a really prosperous future. Let's put it that way. Because I really feel like after you listen to this album, this is a band that's going to stay in your mind. This is a band that's going to stay in your radar. So I really feel like this album is really a stepping stone for what the future will bring from this band. So from a debut records perspective, I really enjoyed it. They didn't go too much outside the box. They didn't try to reinvent power metal as a style. They didn't try to recreate the, the wheel, if you will. They just used the elements that, that they know that works within that genre 
they incorporated some old school influences and they made an album that is a very strong debut record but like i said it's really a record that they can build upon and really move towards the future as far as songs are concerned i have to start with welcome to paradise that's the opening track on the album that's also the name of the record it's a great power metal anthem it just has such a nice opening feel it, it's so dynamic it's so beautiful it's so has such great tempos to it it's, it's a song that the moment you start listening to the album immediately captivates you to the record it's the perfect intro track to the album like i said the song has a great sound great riffs overall it has a little bit of an old school feel to it but still it, it sounds modern uh the chorus has some layers to the vocals which i really like it makes the song feel a lot more powerful it, it makes the song feel like it has a lot more volume uh, obviously this song, no different than any, any other on the record, has a really catchy, hooky chorus. Um, following the second chorus, there's a little bit of an interesting riff that leads into the solo. It's really nice, the dynamic that create in that songs and, and how they, they merge riffs into solos to really create a nice fluidity to the track. This one does that. There's also a really cool keyboard melody that, that has a little, that, that hides itself uh, behind the chorus, specifically as the song closes off really cool a keyboard melody that just adds another layer it adds another scent and adds another flavor to this track welcome to paradise to me is the best opening track that they could have picked from all the tracks on the record because like i said it really sets the tone it sets the tempo for what the whole album is going to sound like now my favorite song on the record is time to rise what an incredible song my goodness this song is like absolutely balls to the wall from the moment it starts all the way to it ends this song has a killer sounding riff has a little bit of a throwback feel to it, but just very so slightly, so dynamic. It's such a dynamic, powerful track. It has a little bit on that riff. The reason I say there's a little bit of a throwback feel to it, maybe a fragrance to it, has a little bit of a Judas Priest vibe to the way it, to the way the guitar riff sounds. It just has such a momentum. It's such a powerful song, and the vocals fit perfectly like a glove. They just match. Uh, the vocals match the tempo that the song has and the two just flow perfectly it, it's an amazing song to me it's like i said it's my favorite song on the album it has an absolutely incredible chorus the chorus is very catchy very hooky almost has a little bit of a hades 80s uh, pop hit um vibe to it. It, it it's so catchy so hooky that it really it has that that sort of a pop 80s hit feel to it the solo in this song is absolutely incredible I, I, to me, it's my favorite solo on the whole record. I really like what they did with the solo on this track. They have the drums behind it, giving it a bigger push, uh, a bigger volume, a bigger sound. But the, the solo is so over the top, so when you add those drums in behind it, it just makes it even more grandiose. It makes it almost cinematic, if you will. So I really love that. Uh, finishing the track off with the chorus on repeat, I absolutely love it because as the solo ends, the choruses can come back in and then they just kind of go on repeat as they fade out throughout the track which is something that bands did it back in the day instead of the songs finishing abruptly the, the sound would just kind of fade out into oblivion and they did that with this track and they did that with the chorus finishing off with the chorus going into oblivion i really like that it had that a little bit of a throwback feel to it last but not least everyone's a star i really like this song because it gave a different dynamic to it this song was more keyboard driven than guitar driven while the other two tracks that I mentioned were totally guitar-driven tracks, this one is more of a keyboard-driven track. Obviously, there's still guitars in there, but I really feel like the lifeline of the song is really the melody that you're getting from the keyboards. Uh, it starts off with the keyboard almost feeling like very uh, industrial, if you will. It has a little bit of that sound to it. Uh, but it's a track that then it morphs back into just regular keyboard melody. But it's a track that's really driven by the keyboards that has that as the main focus, if you will. Um, through the verses and in, into the chorus, the keyboard is always present, sometimes more in the forefront, sometimes more in the background. Um, the guitars kind of take the lead as well. So it's a song that overall really feels like it's well constructed, it's well connected. It has a different vibe from the previous two songs. It's not as fast as the tempos are concerned or as the momentum of the track itself is concerned. It, it has more of a slower build up to it. And I believe in large part is due to the melody that you're getting from the keyboard. I also really like the lyrics of this song. 
they, they have some funny moments and I don't find necessarily the lyrics to be funny but there are some funny moments into the lyrics and some very interesting messages into those lyrics so I really I really felt that this song really had those two different components which was a, perhaps a, a different look from a lyrical perspective and also the the majority uh, of the song really being driven by the sound of the keyboard it has a beautiful chorus where the vocals take over with, with some layers to them. I really like that on, the, on a track like this, on a track that uses um, the keyboards as much as this one does. To add layers to the vocal track, specifically around the chords, I think it's really important. It adds volume, it adds a little bit of thickness to it, it adds a little bit more purpose to the track. It drives the message home, if you will. The choir of, of the voices in the background really adds that volume, and, and that's what the layers do. So I really feel that this song is really well put together from a versus perspective to a chorus, how the keyboard blends in throughout the song, sometimes more predominant, sometimes more in the background. And overall, another song that has a catchy, hooky chorus that will just become a near warm. All right, guys, this is it. This is Northdale, Welcome to Paradise. Like I said earlier, really strong debut record. To me, really a record that will allow the band to build upon and move forward and into future records. I was really impressed with this album. I was really impressed with the sound. And more important, I was really impressed with the structure of the record. That last ballad at the end really threw me for a loop. But once I, I really catch the drift of, of perhaps what they were trying to do, then the whole album really flows extremely well. For the fans of power metal, I highly recommend you guys checking North Tale because these guys have a modern sound with a little bit of a throwback feel. All right, guys, this is it for me. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the album, in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.